In this tutorial, I will go through different techniques that will help you create masks of higher quality. Let's start with the flow setting for the brush. On this image, I'd like to do some selective darkening and lightening. So I'll begin by making a new layer and I'll call this Lighten. I'll add an exposure increase of around half a stop. Now, of course, there's no change apparent on the images yet because I need to draw in my mask. I'll choose my brush. Remember, you can use B as a keyboard shortcut too. And right click and reduce the flow to a nice low value around eight. I'll make my brush a little bit bigger too. Now what flow does is to build up the mask slowly. So every movement of the brush, it will be building up to its maximum opacity. So this means as I brush on the image, my exposure adjustment of half a stop is being gradually built up where I want it to show. Now it might look that not much has happened to my image, but if I turn off the layer, you can see before and then after. It's subtle, but it's a good quality mask. So the fact that it's not obvious is a good thing. So I can do the same thing with a darken layer. So I'll make a new layer, call this darken, reduce my exposure to around half a stop again. Right click to make my brush a bit smaller and then follow the same principle just by adding a bit more modeling on the face on this side and then a little bit down here as well. Now, once again, of course, it might not look very obvious, but if we turn the layer off and back on again, you can see the difference. Finally, if you've gone a bit too far on any of your layers, you can always reduce the opacity like so. To see the image without any layered adjustments, I'll hold my Alt key down and click on the reset icon here. So with no layers and the two layered adjustments. On this image, I want to use the color editor to create a mask. So first of all, I'll grab my color picker here and click on the blue tone here. If I turn on view selected color range, I can see I've got a pretty good selection of just the blue tones. In the sub menu of the color editor, if I choose create mask layer from selection, that will convert the color range into a mask. So if I press M on my keyboard, we can see the mask that's been created. So now I can use any of the other tools, perhaps I'll desaturate a little and drop the exposure. This will just affect those parts of the image which were masked. However, in this case, if I zoom in, so here we can see the edge of the mask was probably a little bit too good. To visualize better, I can turn on grayscale mask with Alt M on my keyboard. And now we can see the mask does indeed have a very accurate edge, which might not be the best thing for this image. So if I right click on my layer and choose refine mask, this will let me control how the edges look. So a very low radius will have those very accurate edges we saw. And if I increase the radius, then I can smooth the mask in the surrounding areas and it will look much more natural. So now you can see the adjustment looks far better. A handy shortcut when masking large areas is the ability to fill the mask. So if you start by outlining the area that you need to mask, like so, you can then just right click and say fill mask. If you've created a mask which is perhaps a bit too hard on the edges, instead of having to recreate the mask, you can right click on the layer and choose feather mask. This will feather the edges of the mask based on the amount of radius applied. For following tricky edges, you can also use the auto mask. With the brush selected, right click and check the box auto mask. Now the brush cursor has an additional central circle. This is the sample zone. 
So as you brush, if the sample zone differs from the edge of the brush, it will find the edge when you let go of the mouse. So now I can simply follow the edge of the mountain range here, and the mask will simply snap to it. Like in the earlier example, if the edge of the mask doesn't quite look natural enough, a good secondary step, once again, is to refine the mask. 